So before being saved, I had a I was um, I had an addiction to to drugs and wanted to stop for so long and always tried but never succeeded. I was every morning when I would wake up, I'd be like, "Tomorrow's going to be the day that I'm going to stop," but I couldn't. Like it, I kept being drawn back to it. And I worked at Good Life Fitness. I was probably in my 30s. And I had a friend there, Alex, and he was a Christian. Um, it's almost like God was already preparing me to have this time with Alex because I, w I started reading this book, I think it was called Keeping Faith, and I didn't know anything really about Christianity. And it got me really thinking more about God. I asked Alex, I said, could you just give me some of those like inspirational quotes from the Bible to kind of, you know, get me through it. Like I felt like I needed something, so I was asking him. And he never would give it to me. And I'd be like, what kind of guy is this? I thought he was a Christian. He's not even giving me like, I, I kept bugging him. I'm like, what's wrong with you? But there was this one day, it actually was, it's kind of interesting. So May 6th was the day before my 33rd birthday. And Alex, I asked Alex, I'm like, can you just take me to get my own Bible? Because I keep asking you for things and you're not giving me anything. So he actually took me to a Christian bookstore. It's called Lorna and John's. It was like this little bookstore. And I bought my first Bible there with him. And on our way home, he had one of those tracks. And he painstakingly read every single page. Of, I was like in the car itchy because I, I was. And then, and then whenever he would say Jesus, I would freak out. I like, I, I think I was trained from a young age in a Jewish home not to really like that name Jesus. I don't know, because he said I was pretty rude about that. But he um, painstakingly read that track to me. And then he gave it to me, he put it in my Bible. And that night, May 6th, the night before my 33rd birthday, I took the Bible, I took that annoying track that he read, and I read every page by myself. And then at the end of it, there's this prayer. So he never went through the prayer part with me, just left it with me. And then, so I kneeled by my bed, I didn't know, I just saw it from the movies, and I read the track, and then I, it, I was like, did he come? Did I invite, is he, maybe I should read it again. So I kept, I kept reading the, the prayer part over and over again, because I'm like, I, and, and the interesting thing is, it's like the Holy Spirit gave me this prayer that he would replace my passion for smoking drugs for the Word of God. And exactly the next day on my birthday, that is exactly what happened. It was the first time in so long that I had no desire. It was like a, it was like a real transformation. Cause it was, I know how many times I tried to stop and I know what it felt like. And this was just different. It wasn't anything like big or whatever. It was just, I knew I never had that desire. And from that day, however many years ago, I think I was in 2002, to now, I never had that desire back ever. And my mouth was cleaned up. Like I had a little bit of a potty mouth. <laughs> and it was cleaned up immediately. It was cleaned up immediately. I can't, you can't do that on your own. So I knew for me it was real. It was real. After I confessed, it's like I was hungry for all things that had to do with the Lord and with church. Like I, I called Alex, I told him what I did. And the next weekend was Mother's Day. I said, can I come to your church with you? And I thought he was gonna say no. And he took me to SGT. And it's like, I felt like I was being pushed in and I just wanted to be involved in everything. I wanted to join the choir. I wanted to, you know, so I did those things. I went to Alpha right away. I had no idea what they were talking about, but this, and I would be sitting there and I would be crying. And I'm like, I, I remember Brother Titus was teaching it and, I, and, and Thomas was teaching it. And I was, I would have no idea why I was crying, but it was like, it's like the Holy Spirit in me was, something was happening and I was changing.